application of Islamic contracts in Islamic finance. This is what we are going to discuss. After this reading, we should be able to explain the reasons why there are some contracts preferable over other contracts in Islamic finance. And we will be able to discuss briefly about product development in Islamic financing using the traditional concept of uh, making contracts. We we'll start our discussion with uh, Islamic deposits. Uh, being a customer, of course, we need uh, certain options in terms of banking and we have money where to put up. So, uh, how to do uh, the deposits in Islamic way? We have one option that is called uh, Mudaraba, that is for um, uh, you know, we give money in bank. Uh, given to the right people in terms of uh, advertise gift prior and upon opening of account is permissible. Share of profit to get in these Islamic deposits is uh, permissible. Account holder be at the loss of capital. This is also uh, uh, one of the core feature of uh, the Madaraba because it's work as a profit and loss sharing concept. In terms of Wadiya or Karz Hassan, um, advertise gift prior and upon uh, opening account is not permissible, not permitted. No share of profit uh, can be taken uh, from the, uh, no share of profit uh, is allowed in terms of Hiba gift, but only in terms of Hiba which is a gift can be permissible into uh, bank's sole discretion depending on the situation. No bearing of loss by the depositor. On the contrary, the money will be guaranteed or deemed as a liability for the bank. In terms of Mudarbas, uh, Muraba sales, Ijara, Mustasanya, Takliq, or Musharika, Muntan, Kisa. Uh, let's discuss one by one about uh, this. First of all, in terms of Islamic uh, mortgages, house financing, we have uh, two broad things to consider. One is Murahaba and one is the Ijara, Muntahiya, or Musharika, Mutam, Sika. Uh, in terms of Murahaba, Fixed uh, margin of profit can be added, no securitization with possible free trade of sukuk in terms of secondary markets. Ownership risk is on the customer end. Same way, fix and uh, in terms of Ijara, Muntahiya, and Musharaka, Muntaka, kis, uh, Kisa, this is uh, fixed and floating rental rates. Uh, securitization uh, with possible free trading of Soku on secondary market according to the international Sharia standards and ownership risk is on the financer. From the Sharia perspective of course financing someone to purchase a house could take the form of Murahaba sale, Ejara Muntahiya or Musharaka Mutana Sikha. A product development in Islamic is really important in terms of giving newness, new products to the um, to the general customers. Uh, there, there are a couple of new products, which is of course uh, uh, in terms of uh, forward lease or Ijara, Mosofo, Fial, Dima. Ijara, what is that? Ijara contract may be executed for assets undertaken by the lessee to be delivered to the lessee according to the accurate specification. Even the asset to describe is not owned by the lessors. In this case, an agreement is reached to make the prescribed asset available during the duration of the contract giving the lesser the opportunity to acquire or to produce it. It is not the requirement of the lease that the rental should be paid in advance as long as the lease is not executed according to the contract of Salam. Should the lease receive an asset that does not conform to the agreed description, then he is entitled to reject it or deem an asset that conform to the description. This is the important consideration that we should take. 
In terms of new product innovation, we have a contract of the Waruk, which is a transaction between three or more parties, allowing one of them to obtain cash through sales mechanism. The Waruk would facilitate this purpose by having a financier as the purchase of an asset from a vendor. Upon delivery of asset to financer, either actually or constructively, the financer would sell the same asset to the customer who is seeking cash or personal finance at a market price. That is the cost plus and a particular margin for the profit. In terms of product development in Islamic banking, this is the wider scope and uh, it is uh, for good governance and giving a variety of uh, Islamic products to in, in comparative of conventional product is the responsibility of the thinkers and Islamic scholars so they can cover the full regime of the uh, needs of the individual customers. In terms of synergy and the combination of market products we can have Jara, Tak Takmil, Musharika, Mustamiya these are the new techniques in terms. We can introduce hybrid products. Hybrid products is Ijara Mantahiya and uh, on the other hand we have Musharika, uh, Modana, Sika. Uh, this is like um, in Ijara we have release, we have sale or gift undertaking, we have sale or gift. In terms of joint venture Musharika, we have lease, we have sales undertaking via progressive redemption of the shareholding of the finances. Couple of things we have uh, in the conventional market that is like a credit card. Credit card is like a plastic money and uh, when we spend a credit card we have certain period of time to pay it back. So the same concept in terms of Islamic debits and credits that you have a certain period of time uh, in which you have to pay uh, the uh, you have to pay the due amount that is taken as you know, on a liability basis and of course uh, whatever you can purchase on these cards should be lawful you cannot buy wine or other things by using your Islamic card this is based uh, this is against the Sharia principles product development can take place in form of synergy involving the combination of one or more contracts and uh, uh, we should achieve the try to achieve the same economic benefits as that we achieve in the uh, commercial products. Generally, people consider that when you follow the Islamic uh, financing uh, options, they are a little bit more expensive than the commercial, which is a serious issue, and uh, all IFI has to take it uh, because Islam makes things easy for the uh, general public and customers. Product development um, is really important as uh, we discussed that to give a lot of people the, thought, the options so they can convert themselves, themselves and can get a benefit from using Islamic financing, enhancement of some features pertaining to trust payable to depositors, products still fundamentally based on lending of interest. So this is one of the key features that we have to keep in, in mind. Product enhancements always aim to improve particular feature of an existing product in an, an attempt to make a financial product more attractive, competitive, more secure. Ideally, it should be in this way that people should forget about conventional financing, even they are not Muslims, and they should try to gain the Islamic way of financing. This, is, this should be the ultimate goal of every IFI uh, in order to achieve the excellence in terms of the product developments.